Hello guys, welcome to this video and today we are playing Extraordinary Adventures and I'm going to showcase you Dopio 2 on King Crimson. This is that is this is this stand they have right now that is not the stand I'm going to showcase you. So first things first, how to get the stand I'm talking about. So how to get it is you need to get this stand which you can get by stabbing yourself with a arrow if you have seen my previous video about this stand this stand is called dopio king crimson okay so how do you, you need this and then a frog so you just need a frog and then boom click the frog and there you okay it is just you have to wait like a little longer you know so come on just work there you go so it worked as you can see there's something in our head and if once we click Q, you'll be able to see two arms instead of one. So yeah guys, that's how you get this Dopio 2 Arm King Crimson. Now going to the abilities. So the abilities what I'm talking about is like the basic attack first. Because that's really cru uh, crucial So every stand. So let's see what damage and what does the basic attack do in this um, with this stand so let's just punch and punch it has damage of 15 and also punches the enemy backwards so yeah that's the basic ability now going to the movement set which is the abilities so there's two types of form for these abilities that's the first form and the second form and we're going to do the first form so the first form is going to be just a single blow of E so click E and boom you'll be doing that super punch thingy with a damage of 50 if you are i think it was damage 50 yes it was a damage of 50. it also pushes back the enemy so you can get away from them so yeah that's the e ability now going to the next ability is going to be the r ability this one is going to be a chop and this will have some kinds of x effect on it so let's try it our ability boom as you can see it has the same damage as e 50 and also show this x effect the red x the red cross thingy that's a, one of the effect and also kind of pushes back the enemy a little bit so yeah that's the r ability now going to the next ability it's going to be f and what this does is it dodge like um, it lets you see the future the the scan sees the future and it dodges all incoming attacks for like five seconds and you'll be able to see like red eyes on the on the eyes you'll see the red thingy because it's showing that it's seeing the future and i'm just telling you guys as a saying not you can't dodge the whole like uh, like all the stands you can only dodge some but you cannot dodge from gold experience requiem and over the heavens uh, stands so be careful for those uh, for those uh, stands because they might hurt you a lot so yeah guys that's the f ability now going to the next ability it's going to be like a fast forward if you go a little bit backwards from the enemy just click v and you'll be able to go a little bit forward from it not that much but a little that's the v ability next is the transformation and what this does is it lets you go to the second form so we we are done with the first form now going to the second form is how to be able to do the second form because this is one of one punch only right now let's click h and boom as you can see we'll be doing this post thingy and we'll be able to do the second form so the first ability on the second form is going to be e okay e and how to do it is you don't click it because this is not a super punch what this does is it's a barrage so that means it will you have to hold e instead of just one clicking it and it has damage of five every single hit plus it also like moves the enemy backwards so yeah that's the e ability of the second form now going to the next ability is going to be r and what this does is throws like a scapples uh, at the enemy and it also kind of 
freeze them. So let's, let's try it and click R. Boom, as you can see, it was able to throw it. I don't know how much damage it was, but it was able to throw it. And it's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, that's the R ability. Now going to the next ability. This is the same ability, so I'm not going to say it. It's the F. You can use both F, uh like v and the uh, like f and v in the second form but there are some other more that are not be able to do in the second form and this is the t and what this does is go to t this will grab the opponent so you'll be able to drag them to wherever you please but there are like uh, like time there's like a time or duration what you can do so it like takes you three seconds to take that guy to wherever you want it's not like 50 seconds you're like i have this guy on my arms you can't you, you can't do that so yeah that's the t ability now going to the next one is why instead of grabbing or doing that ability it also grabs it but it's a little bit different so let's click y and then boom as you can see i can drag the enemy but it has its own different style as it shows so that's the why and yeah guys that would be it the why was the last and the others are showing here are the f and the v that you can use to dodge f is to use to dodge it will allow you but it's not usable for some stands they can still hurt you for some of the stands and the V is where you want to skip, like literally just skip, like it's like the teleportation except you go a little bit forward. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. I hope you like this um, showcase about this stand. And if you do like this and it's a little bit informative and shows you what this stand is all about, well like this video. And if you think this stand was not helpful at all, well dislike this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, well subscribe to me. It's for free, but if you don't want to, it is your decision. So yeah, guys, I hope you have a nice day, and bye.